Hi everyone, welcome to AI Crack channel. This is Akash Kumar and today we'll be talking about PGDBA cutoff trends. So I'm actually posting a video after a long time because of the processing issue of YouTube. And I recorded one video earlier, but that was before the actual results were announced. Now, since the results are announced, cutoffs are announced. So that become that uh, video has become obsolete. So now this is the modified version with the modified data of 2023 as well, right? So firstly, let's talk about written score comparison between 2022 and 2023, right? So we have approximately 30 to 35% of the data of the total number of people who are actually shortlisted for interview. And specifically for general category, we have 40% data. Right? So with this 40% data, we can conclude that the roughly average is 100 marks, okay? For those who are shortlisted for general category in 2023, the average is approximately 100 with 40% data, okay? And uh, if you compare it with 2022, it was actually 108 last year. Okay, that was approximately 35% of the data. Now, if we talk about OBC, we have a difference of 10 marks. It was 84 this time and it was 94 earlier. And if we talk about the top five average of 2023, it is 125 this time and it was 133 earlier. This is 2022, right? So basically we can conclude that there's a drop of eight to 10 marks roughly. And we actually made the similar kind of conclusion with the help of polls as well, that roughly we are going to drop by approximately uh, 10 to 15 marks. But after the correction part, we actually updated and our revised cutoff was somewhere around 78 to 83. So basically we made a conclusion that seven to 12 marks drop was expected in the actual cutoff. But why cutoff came out to be 87? If both the numbers are actually indicating the same, why this surge in, why this mild, milder drop in uh, in the cutoff this time as compared to last year. So basically last year we had 424 people shortlisted. This time we have just 329. Right? So there's a drop in the number of people who are actually shortlisted. If it was the case that even in this year we had 424, then probably we'd have seen the cutoff around 80, right? So now since the number of people actually have dropped, so that's why the cutoff has approximately 87. Right. But that doesn't change the fact that the number of marks have actually dropped by eight to 10 marks roughly, right? That doesn't change the fact we have got to know from two different data points that this is actually true that the average marks approximately have dropped by eight to 10 marks, right? Now let's look at one more data point that is composite. So this is for 2023 and this is for 2022. Now this is both for general category. I forgot to mention that. These both are actually for general category. Now, as I gave an example in the WhatsApp group that it's kind of a left skewed version. This one is also kind of little milder version of left skewed distribution, sorry, right skewed distribution, not left skewed, right? So if we talk about the average, it's 40.5. If we talk about average over here, it's 44.7. Again, we can see a drop of approximately four marks in the composite score that actually boils down to roughly 10 to 12 marks roughly in the written score exemption. So that is also one more data point hinting that the cutoff would have been around 80 marks only given that uh, the number of app, number of shortlisted candidates didn't drop. Okay. Now let's talk about profile score distribution and I actually calculated that it comes out to be 10.5, but we have two significant peaks over here. Why is that? Because this is probably for either four plus or we, this is actually for you know people who are having four plus experience or zero experience close to zero experience and this one is probably for two to three years experience plus minus a few months over here here and there so for this category the average comes out to be you know, four four to four point five and for this category the average comes out to be approximately 11 to 12 roughly you know you cannot pinpoint it roughly it comes out to be 11 to 12 and for this one it's four to four point five and the total average comes out to be 10.5 so to make a good comparison, the experienced ones should compare from 11 to 12 and uh, the uh, fresher, fresher ones should compare from 4 to 4.5 or other ones who are having 4 plus experience, right? Now let's have a look at the cutoff trends and uh, I've gathered data from 19, 20, 21 and 22. So by have ignored 8, 16, 17, 18 because at that point of time, firstly, we don't have the real data points. We don't have real sources who can actually pinpoint what was the cutoff, how many students actually applied over there. So we don't really have these kind of data points from those years. Secondly, the paper trends were quite different at that point of time. DIR was very easy. Maths was easier as compared to the recent ones. 
so there is no point in judging from those kind of years and even in 1920 21 and 22 we are going to focus more on 21 and 22 because they have been the change major uh, they actually brought out the major shift in trends okay so that's the first point now the second point is in 2022 they started giving same cut off for st and sc category earlier they used to give different category different cut offs for st and sc category but now recently from 2022 they started giving same composite score cut off for st and sc category i'm not sure about these numbers like they used to give same cut off for written examinations earlier but from 2022 it has been established with the formula that they will be giving same cut off for written st sc category and also composite score st sc category right so now since they have introduced this formula and even that formula is being used in 2023 as well for the written exam part i'm expecting that we are going to have same kind same cut off for st sc category in case of composite score as well so that's the first point uh now the second thing is we have actually seen that there was a drop of composite score by 4 marks and roughly 8 to 10 marks drop in the case of written examination so we can we expect similar kind of drop in the overall composites the answer is no so let me tell you the reason from here to here when we transition actually the paper difficulty was more or less similar and it was kind of a little tougher if you talk about 22 and 21 right but still we saw an increment of 72 to 74 that was one reason because of the participation a little increase in participation and also people actually get acquainted with the kind of difficulty so it's not actually linear so it's not like if uh, difficulty is increasing by let's say 10x then uh, we are going to see similar kind of drop in the composite score cut off that's not the case so that's why rather than 4 roughly we can drop it by 3 or maybe 2.5 roughly okay just just an estimation i'm not talking about total mathematics but saying that it's going to be lesser than 4 if we are seeing the actual drop in cut off by 4 marks the overall com composite score is not likely to uh, you know drop by 4 marks it's probably by 3 or uh, 2.5 marks so that's why i've used 71.5 over here 68.5 over here 62 over here and 50 over here dropped by 3 marks for the 2023 expectations right these are not the actual numbers they are they have not been announced because because we haven't seen interviews yet these are the my expectations based on the data points i have as of now right so max to max we can have 72 as a cut off this time for the composite score right so these were the cut off trends and uh, you can take these scores as benchmark maybe you can add one mark over there for the worst case and prepare yourself accordingly have a decent expectation uh, expectations from yourself accordingly right so this is my last video of the current session that is pg debate 2023 and we'll be meeting again once the interviews are done and probably i'll start a new series from june 2023 right for 2024 preparation okay so all the best for your interviews let's meet in june 2024 thanks for watching